guys, welcome once again to It's Time to Play, and as always, we're going to be taking a classic game, we're going to relive some of the nostalgia, talk a bit of nonsense, but most importantly, we're going to have some fun, and today that game is Raiga, this is an absolute classic, this came out by Tecmo in 1986, and uh, a lot of fans love this game, and I thought it was about time I did a, a pretty in-depth playthrough of the arcade version, so uh, with that being said, we're going to insert some coins, and we're going to get started here, guys. We need a lot of coins for this, we'll see how we go. Um, so this game is set about 4.5 billion years in the future. Uh, the storyline is a little bit similar in a sense to Ultra Beast as you're a hero that's actually been risen from the dead and uh, you have to stop an evil uh, overlord, dictator, whatever. Um, there's been civil war for millions of years all over the land. Finally this uh, new dictator is reigned supreme and uh, you've got to put a stop to him basically. Uh, not, not, not a real in-depth storyline in the sense that you don't really see it play out as you play the game. It's more about the gameplay. Uh, Raigar here plays like a, a basic, uh, I guess you could say, platform game. It's incredibly challenging, incredibly difficult, but also incredibly rewarding uh, because you're going to really test your skill and uh, you're really going to be rewarded for the more practice and uh, trial and error you do in this kind of game. So keep in mind guys, this came out in 1986 and uh, it's a really attractive looking game. This uh, Raigar character here, for example, is quite unique. Uh, you don't have a typical sword or a shoot button or anything. Uh, he kind of uses, I guess, I don't know, sort of this uh, flail or morning star or some kind of adaption of that. Sort of like a, sort of like a yo-yo equivalent of one of those weapons. You know what I mean? It's really, really strange. I don't even know what uh, this is called. So forgive me, but uh, it's pretty fun to attack with it. Actually, it just uh, goes any way you uh, need to throw it pretty quickly. Um, not much else to say about that really. Raigar is really, really responsive. Uh, it's pretty much just two attacks. You've got this attack button, obviously, as you can see, and a jump button. And uh, it's really good uh, that he is responsive as what he is, because you are, as I said, going to need to use a lot of reflexes when playing this game, and you will die a lot. This is like uh, the side-scrolling version of... I don't want to be too generic and say it's like a side-scrolling Dark Souls, but as far as difficulty goes, uh, yeah, this game definitely is up there with that one, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> music's not too bad, sort of just some basic hums and murmurs in the background. I mean, there is a, a subtle soundtrack in the background, but it's nothing to write home about. But at the same time, I think it does suit the game. I mean, everything about this uh, presentation uh, feels really, really good to me. Anyway, let's see how we do here. So I think in Raigar there's about 25 levels or something like that. I think once you get uh, to tw level 20 something, you can't continue anymore. You're probably familiar with that kind of uh, harshness in games like Contra and stuff like that. So you can spend as many credits as you want to go to the end, but you actually need skill to finish the game. And, uh, it takes a special type of player to be able to finish the arcade version of uh, Raigar, that's all I've got to say. Now, I've never, as you can see already, I've never been that fantastic at Raigar, however, I've always enjoyed the game. And that's the one attack that I've always forgot about. You can attack to the left or the right and just throw straight out. Or you can hold up and attack and you can actually swing... What the hell's that weapon called? You can swing your yo-yo flail mace modified weapon and go in a, a 360 motion and protect yourself. So that's actually a pretty neat little addition to this. Oh crap. I love that sun in the background. That's a, a really nice effect. I love, I love simple game design. Like, I mean, especially the technology that they had back in 1986. There was obviously not a lot they could do, so you really have to use their imagination and it's just it just takes sometimes a simple art style just to add to the, the game experience and I just love the graphics in this. It, it's just such a hybrid of feeling like an ancient game but a futuristic game at the same time and that's exactly what Raigar is. It's based in the future but it has uh, prehistoric elements in it. It's just so, so incredibly unique. Anyway, I've passed another level here. There's all sorts of other levels as uh, you'll carry on. I mean, most of them are side-scrolling. We also have these levels where you have to, like, uh, climb up ropes and traverse through caverns like this, things like that. Um, 
Yeah. So that doesn't try too hard to be different every level, but there's always something new to see for the most part. These enemies are really, really annoying here. Oh, that's right. You have to swing left. When you're on the rope, you have to swing left to right to avoid anything that's dropping. And then you've got to avoid these toad tongues or whatever they are. Stone frogs. I don't even know what you call them. As I've always mentioned, the game just looks so freaking unique. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to insert another credit here. Or press the start button. We've already inserted a bunch of credits. And, uh, okay, we'll jump off this platform here. Oh, get, oh, get off. Why won't you just get off? There we go. I must have pressed the wrong button or wasn't fine. I don't know. I'm clearing out a few levels now. I don't know what all these uh, statues are supposed to be. Maybe they're like ancestors or something. I don't know. I suppose there would be a lot uh, four and a half billion years after the Earth's creation. Damn, that's a long time. I don't even think the Earth would be here after four and a half billion years. Oh damn. Yeah, just run into that stone rhinoceros, it's all good. Whatever it's supposed to be. Oh crap. Uh. Oh, oh, oh man. That's like three lives in 30 seconds. There's always just going to be things dropping in and out at you from everywhere when you play Rygar. Oh, crap. And you're just going to bounce into something at random. And uh, it can really throw you off your road mojo just having one bad level. Seriously, we weren't playing too bad until here and we've literally just had one credit that's lasted about 30 seconds. That's no, alright. We just need to try a little bit harder, I think. After you hit a certain level, I mean, you definitely just feel the difficulty just ramp the hell up, that's for sure. So, um, most gamers know as well that there's also an NES version of Rygar. That's uh, a pretty good game, it's not one that I have a lot of experience with. I think I like the arcade version because it's uh, a more sort of fast-paced, casual experience. Um, the gameplay is still the same in the NES version. It kind of plays a bit more like, uh, I guess you could say, a platforming adventure game. Um, there's all sorts of like uh, quests you sort of undertake, people that you meet, or things like that. Um, there's a lot of cryptic secrets in it as well, which is uh, fun or annoying depending what type of game you are. Man, you just can't avoid anything when playing this. I'm really struggling right now. Um, but uh, if, you do, if you don't find the arcade version of Rygar in depth enough, definitely try the NES version. There's a lot more to offer in, in that package. Here we go. Finally avoided death. How about that? Oh, crap. Come on. I'm <laughs> just trying to stay alive, guys. Oh, man. This is a difficult game. Oh. Oh, I've got one life left. Might have to, might have to play another credit. No matter how skilled a player you are, a game like Rygar here is gonna humble you in a hurry. That's for sure. Because uh, these things fly at you, bounce at you, whatever you want to call it. Man. All right. Let's try another credit. Stupid fire monster. Get away from me. Oh. You have to duck down and hit the son of a bitch. <clears throat> like, uh, most of the enemies here randomly generate, but at the same time, the patterns are always going to stay the same for the most part. So uh, if you play this game a few times, you're sort of, I guess in a way, going to know what to expect and it might make multiple playthroughs a little bit easier. As I said, it's trial and error and practice this. Uh, can we get to the end of the level yet, please? Oh, bounce over him. Oh, that was lucky. I was about to hit something there, that was for sure. <laughs> you got to take victory any way you can get it, seriously, especially when it comes to Rygar. Oh, 
so we've got another whenever you see that uh, flying little gargoyle whatever it is you know you've got a cavern level it's all about oh, damn it I didn't move pro I press the move button here we go got it right that time most of the time he doesn't even throw them on you but you get unlucky occasionally This kind of reminds me of those Mega Man levels where you have to avoid the lasers. Completely different game. I oh crap, that was close. That was pretty skillful. You've got to be proud of me for that one, guys. <laughs> ah. Oh man. Again, <laughs> you just really got to be kept... It's almost like you have to plan ahead in some of these sections. Oh. As you can see, the levels aren't overly massive. They probably last for anywhere from about 30 seconds to a minute, but there are a lot of them. Uh, I think, as I said, I think there's between like 25 and 30, if I'm not mistaken. I just can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, as, as you get further along, some of them do go for a bit longer. We can't end it like that. We're gonna play one more credit. <laughs> and I've gone through about 20 freaking lives already. I told you this game was difficult. Oh. There you go, take that monkey. Oh man! You can jump one direction to avoid something, but then you'll just straight away run into something else. <laughs> it's, it's just, everything just floods the screen. Uh, this is a coin muncher. Get out of there. Bounce on his damn head. Oh boy. Ah. <laughs> uh. There we go. Only lost two lives that level. <laughs> couple different statues there this time. All the forefathers. Another cavern level. I don't mind these ones too much when I can actually avoid stuff properly. Oh damn. Good time it just right though. I like these toads. Oh that was close. Not making it easy for me. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, let's get off here. And he's still going to follow me around. Go away. Oh. Oh, fire monster's back. Ah! Okay, one more. This is the lucky last credit, guys. I think I need more practice before I play this again. <laughs> All right, what's the E stand for there? But yeah, seriously guys, in all honesty, if you're an old school gaming buff, I highly recommend Rygar here. Um, just prepare to, I mean, don't play this after a stressful day, put it that way. It's gonna take a lot of patience to uh, develop your skill in this game. Man, this would almost have made a good fail compilation video, I think. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. oh, gosh. Oh man, I'm gonna have more practice and tackle this game one day. I think I better give, you know, I probably shouldn't give up my day job, come to think of it. Uh, that was Rygar guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, it's a classic arcade game. If you really want to have your platforming uh, skills challenged, this is a game for you. And as always guys, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, support us on Patreon, and we'll see you next time at OneCoin Only.